Hello and welcome to another series of the Infinite Voxel Engine I'm currently tinkering with. Um, there was some time between the last video and now and because I was very busy doing a lot of things and stuff and earning some money but since the last video what I mainly did was reworking the light system with a sunlight and night and all that stuff because this wasn't working exactly as I suppose it to be so and today we are here to show you this improvements in the lightning system so the first thing I want to show you is um, I improved the slicing of the terrain so as you can see we can just slice through the terrain and we do this actually also with everything in the world as you can see here with the player it's just cut by the current slice so everything will be visible in the slice you're currently working with and the same is true for the trees so they will not block the view when you slice down terrain if you want to do some digging like so then you can do this and we now can place lamps inside here as you can see this does work much better than it did before without bugging out anymore and oh I dig I dig the way something of the tree yeah I didn't happen to fix this because it's actually not in the game so the trees are just put there and that will not react in any way with the terrain whatever that's not what I want to show it the not cool thing I want to show is that we cannot turn away the Sun so we can make it night and as you can see we have some pretty impressive I don't know it's very impressive but as you can see we have some night view now so the whole image gets desaturated except when there is light from the lights so I think this was needed because it looks very good for night view you do need the desaturation of all this stuff uh, you may notice that the water is not reacting exactly how it should in this condition this is mainly because the water is currently in the forward shader and is not in the fair shader where everything else is currently running at so let's pause this and as you can see there's a guy and I can place and this guy is now desaturated so let's make it completely night so we don't have any colors left it's just a little bit bluish to give it the night the night uh, stuff what's still working is that as soon as we place a lamp everything uh, lights up perfectly if you're interested how I did this um, as this is a deferred shader I'm actually using two light maps for this so I have a light map for everything related to Sun and I have a different light map related to everything which is lit by bulbs or lamps and the reason to do this is just because I can I guess no it was the only way to do it without uh, rendering everything uh, multiple times and so these two light passes are done in one in one single pass and doesn't need any much more um, stuff a drawback from this is currently that I'm not able to have colored lights so every light is just white at the moment I would have to do some more um, value packing to not uh, incorporate a new render target because I'm actually working with four of them um, yeah this is actually a 4k rendering so I'm doing 4k render targets for per frame and yeah I think the performance is pretty good this will change somehow when I will go to incorporate real-time shadows well whatever as you can see we can now just put some lights they don't eat any uh, real performance at all because they just um, yeah they're just working out and as you can see this looks pretty nice doesn't it and now if we go ahead and make it Sunday uh, not Sunday make it light again make it sunny the color comes back and the lights fading out you may see that there is still some light on here and yeah this has some very weird issues which is mainly technical and I would have to blend them a little bit nicer um, my main approach would be to just turn down the lamp power uh, when it gets uh, night to get rid of those but I think it's not really needed because 
well, a lamp will emit light uh, even in day. And the main reason for this is because the sun is coming in on an angel and the light is coming directly to the face, so the light is uh, um, much more intensive than the sun is in this. And we also don't use ambient light to have this sort of a darker surfaces on this side and light on this side because you couldn't use ambient light because this has a lot of drawbacks mainly because of the colored um, blocks you may see here they just won't work with ambient light so I have to omit ambient light completely and what I'm doing is I'm working with two directional lights from counter direction which one is just slightly darker well that's the main reason for light and I think I'm pretty satisfied with the look as it currently is and I'm already thinking about what to implement next and I think maybe I could do the Ingi Midi door or I can try to add shadows but I actually guess I would postpone this to do this later when I do have um, more draw more stress on the shader when all the assets are in again so I can actually do some measurements <coughs> beforehand because implementing shadows in this um, engine would basically half my, my current frame rate and I'm not sure where this will lead and I don't want to invest that much time in the feature I may have to drop anyway well I think this was it for now maybe I have something forgotten but I don't think so everything's in there the thing is running around yeah maybe you just wanna watch me building something like we never did this before no we already did it and we always do it we do it every time but just build something let's do let's do tower just a massive block of stone because we can here we go building something like this is pretty fast here we get we got the tower and maybe we can have a room and having some light spreading out like for example here we're building a room like this here we go we need a doorway so they can go in and we have some windows over here I do have some windows in there. Oh no, come on. Doming maneuvers. No, 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 no. We need this. Here we go. Yeah, because I was paused, you can see that the automata for the light is not working. And that's when the dark spots are bleeding out. So what we're going to do is we have um, something small, so it doesn't need so much time, like this. And now we got walls because those are just windows. Here we go. Now I need a roof. Well, let's play this. Here we go. Now we go inside the castle. As you can see, there is now light uh, even distributed in this tower because that's how I know. We, we go down with the light in the night. Everything's dark. So we have to put a light in there. Like so. And now we have a light. If it, yeah, I just paused the game, so it's just to show you something. I just paused the game, so everything's paused now, and the automata is not running. So when I place a lamp, the automata has not yet um, finished or calculated how much light each block receives. So what you see is actually the soft light alone without the uh, block lightning. So if I resume the game, you see the lights actually working again. So this is what you see when, when you spot some black areas this is what happens so here we go let's go ahead and we can now look inside the house oh, which looks a little bit odd this looks odd Let, let's make this also a little bigger yeah cathedral yes make a cathedral here we go cathedral is the right word is it here we go now you can see inside the house everything's fine and nicely maybe put some lamps here again yes this looks very good Give me some more lights here. Here we go. That's it. I think this looks okay. This looks pretty good. There's some guy running. Here we go. He comes. No, he won't go inside. He won't do it. But let's make it day again. Here we go. And we're back in the day. And that's it for now, I guess. There's not much more to show. Um, maybe let me know if you need 
some more information on different parts of this engine i would be happy to share some insight with you and all right there was a lot of talking this time so hopefully you you did at least enjoy the images or the video so have a nice day and see you next time